I was thinking where this was going. I was interested in the next two possible steps, not just the near future. Because I felt that we so often are disconnected from the bigger picture Darwinism, that we just might step into a puddle. I often said to myself, if only I could get some theoretical help, if he would only send a message. And he came. I was on a stay at Budapest when I got a message that he will drop by and would like to have a talk with me. I knew he had a much different perspective than I. Yes, somehow I was skeptical at first, but in the end I must agree. The world is not about the past 500 years. He said, I know so little about the insect cultures and mantis and dragonfly colonies of the past. Okay, but to start from the beginning, he greeted me with strange words. How nice to see you in this great story. What a wonderful legend this age is, this city. Thanks. Yes, it's very nice, said I to him with my voice, realizing that I am not entirely sure how I understood him, or whether it were words he spoke. Or did his mouth move? And he continued. You have great stories, grand myths. But have you considered that you have too much language around it? I argued. You mean like history and the way we talk about it? And he replied. Not just that. History is only the part of myth. The part you supposedly understand. The part you are able to put into words. It is as if you are reading the world. I hope you understand. It's not really language that created myth. It's more like the other way around. Stories generated the way and the means they are told. The storm and the beast were first gods, and only later were they turned into words. And later, people grouped into tribes according to how they understood each other. Language was nothing more than a tool. But when the tool words became designators of possible work and became only tools of knowledge, a malign growth began. He continued that it is a question of how we can know and whether we make the step of reducing knowledge to things that are accessible to language. And then the god is ripped away from thunder and consciousness from the tree. So when myth is reduced to words, gods to physical phenomena, thoughts to neurons, and objects are only what human understand, of human perceptions of them, it is just natural that the main organization of humankind emerging will be a gem of jurisdiction and clean language, the nation-state. Emotions are channeled 
to the right and clear direction. You know, in this sense, clinging to nation state is like hugging this cancerous metastasis of language. But it is not completely arbitrary, I try to argue. We have culture, we have literature, we are heading somewhere. Skip technology, but still there is development. Be sincere. We are refining the grain of viewing the world. Isn't it natural that groups appear? Why do you object that? And he replied, We had that too. Don't be so naive. Don't think that your 10,000 year culture did not fit multiple times into our 200 million years of existence. And actually, even we know little about the insect imperials, which were here for a billion years. It's just this Copernican revolution of putting human in the center of everything can be so cumbersome. What do you mean? I asked. I would like to see some evidence. Can't you see the structure of our brain? Fossil evidence, he replied. What fossil evidence remains after one or many organic cultures? What do you know of kitten space programs or anything, in fact? You know what percent of actual organic material is fossilized? And then he told me this story. There was once this very proud culture in the Caribbean, mostly Tyrannosaurids and Deinonychids, Euteraptors. In their last years, they were really into this tribal stuff, similar to your tribal ideas. But it lasted some hundred years, really. And many times these ideas die away even sooner. How could this cultural metastasis really live without destroying the host, without wiping out the species. Because first, it's language, simple, beautiful stories, but then comes control, administration, nation, if you want. It really creeps into emotional layers, too, because you really only began to feel what you can word, read, tell. There was this experiment once, some 65 million years ago. It was the high point of the Tyrannosaurid nation-state. But you have not found a fossil flag, right? 